Oh, it's Mark, Fireplace Warehouse. Today I want to go over with you our cutaway version of our uh, Blaze King stove. Uh, the Blaze King stove is meant to be a primary wood heat source for your home, so it's really meant to kind of light up the first cold days of the uh, fall and really kind of burn throughout the winter for you to uh, maintain the, uh, the heat level of your home. So in, in the cutaway version here, we're going to see kind of the path that that uh, uh, air is going to flow through the stove. And we're going to start with the air coming up through the, uh, this area here. And this can be either uh, room air or this could also be hooked to an, an outside air uh, kit. Uh, and then that air is going to come up and it's going to come across this uh, air control, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, and after it goes to the air control, it comes in to this area here through this uh, heat tube here. Uh, this heat tube is, going, is in the firebox, you can see. And that's going to preheat that air so that we have hot air by the time it gets to our primary uh, area where it brings in the uh, air, air into the stove. And that's going to be across the air wash. That's going to bring it across the glass into the burn chamber. Then that air is going to combust in that uh, burn chamber there. And we're going to have our bypass damper open. So you can see that that comes right through here. Um, and that's going to allow the uh, um, heat to heat up our flue, start heating up our stove. And then as the stove warms up, we're going to, uh, we have a uh, thermometer right here on top. Once we get up into the active zone, which is going to be about, of, above about 500 degrees uh, that the stove is, then we're able to uh, close our bypass damper. So this damper you'll see will close down here and then it locks in place. Um, once that happens, then the air then is forced to go around through a flame shield that protects the combustor and then through the catalytic combustor on the top of the stove. Uh, that will burn up more particulates and make the stove much more efficient. Uh, it also will lower the uh, exhaust temperatures. You'll get most all that heat in the stove itself. Um, so the exhaust temperatures are very low on, on a Blaze King stove. Um, you're going to leave the stove burn uh, for about 30 minutes uh, with the air damper control open, which will be in the open position like so. Uh, so everything gets heated up and then once the stove and everything is heated, then you're going to turn it down and you're going to regulate this because you are the thermostat uh, to where you want the heat from the home. And then what will happen is this has a uh, bimetallic spring inside and it will open and close on its own uh, to maintain the uh, same temperature throughout your burn cycle on your wood. Um, then you just, you just burn away, you'll get long burn times, the, uh, the, the stoves can go up to 40 hours. Uh, on a load of fuel uh, at a low, lower elevation with hardwood. Uh, if you get up into a higher elevation and you're using softwood, you do have to reduce some amount there. Um, and then the stove just burns away. If you need to uh, refuel, then you would uh, open up your air damper to give it air. Uh, open up your bypass damper so you don't get any uh, smoke spillage. Just kind of let it sit just for a second. Then you can open your door, refill your stove, as long as you're still in the active zone, which you still should be, you can uh, push down the uh, bypass damper, leave the damper open for a little bit so we can drive off some of that moisture of that wood we just put in, and then turn it back down to the uh, level that maintains the temperature for your home. Uh, that's just a quick walkthrough of the uh, Blaze King uh, cutaway version I have here. Uh, any questions, please let us know. Uh, you can uh, reach us on the web at fpwhs.com. Thank you very much.